everyone. I'm here to share with you about how to build iOS UI in the way of Lego bricks. So first of all, what's our problem? Well, I'm pretty sure all of you guys are familiar with those numbers, right? And uh, well, handle different UI uh, for all those different numbers, that's become a truly problem. So what we have, size class, right? Uh, compact or regular, we can make different UI. Well, that's good, but two <coughs> size classes, that's just not enough to us. And we need something more. Uh, let's say uh, five classes, such as XS, S, M, L, XL, or even XXL for the iPad Pro. And also, um, we need all our cells to be totally have a dynamic height. We won't truncate any text to our user, right? So this is what we have. As you can see, from iPad on landscape to iPhone on portrait, everything is changing to suit the best UI at the current size. From font to layout, from margin to the interline space, or even image ratio. And everything is changing, everything is native here, basically a UI collection view, cell. And we made all of this with one single collection view cell class. Yes, we have one cell to rule them all. But how, right? The idea is simple. We isolate completely every UI part out of the cell, which means we make our cell totally generic. And uh, instead, we put all UI parts into object so called configuration and let the configuration do the rest. So let's see. This is a configuration object. Uh, first, we have a style for himself, then, what's components in it? And the last, we have the layout part. Actually, we are describing the whole UI, describing. Let's see how to configure a cell based on uh, our configuration object. First, we apply the style to the root view, which is our cell. Then we construct the components view one by one. So here we have title, subtitle, and image. Then actually, we have everything we need to do our layout. So just do it, and we are done here. Once we are done, it will be super easy to produce the other components based on the same rule. And here's my favorite part. Actually, we can uh, read components, reuse our component to compose them just like, like we, we play with Lego bricks, right? So this is a very basic idea, but it could be developed and could lead us to beat big monster eventually. So where to go from here? Well, this sounds like a little bit unusual, but we can also lay out our cells, use the same approach in the collection view. This is your favorite part, I think. We can cut update UI layout or even recreate the whole new design remotely because this is basically a JSON structure. Well, I've shown you the way how to do our UI declarative, uh, reusable, and uh, totally configurable. I believe you guys would love it just as much as you guys love the Lego bricks. Thank you. That's all.